Let's ultrasound! On today's edition, we're diving into the ultrasound knobology gallery, and we're talking about the TGC control. There's three brightness controls on an ultrasound machine. Gain, output power, and TGC. The TGC, or time gain compensation, ultrasound control increases or decreases the brightness of the image at different depths in the image. A series of levers can be moved together or independently to change the brightness level at different depths within the ultrasound image. And the TGC control compensates for the ultrasound concept of attenuation. And this is the loss of the strength of a sound wave as it travels deeper into the tissue or through a dense structure on an ultrasound. The TGC control allows for the signals or brightness of the ultrasound to be boosted in areas where the signal is weaker, and often this is in the far field of the image. The TGC control also allows areas of the image to be made darker, such as when removing artifactual echoes from a vessel or another anechoic structure on an ultrasound. The TGC control boosts signals that have already returned to the ultrasound machine, and it does not change the strength of the sound pulse that's sent into the body like the output power control does. TGC is one of the most adjusted controls on an ultrasound machine, and you should always adjust the TGC before adjusting the output power or the gain. Now let's talk about how to optimize the TGC control. In the far left image, the TGC is uneven. It's too bright in certain areas of the image. The TGC should be adjusted so that there is equal brightness level at all depths and all tissue types maintain their proper echogenicity, meaning you don't wanna adjust the aorta, which is anechoic, to be the same brightness level as the liver, which should be a medium gray shade. In the middle image, the TGC is uneven because several sections are too dark. For an optimal TGC, which is the far right image, the TGC is set so that there's equal brightness at all depths, and each tissue type, such as fat, liver, aorta, maintains its proper echogenicity level. One of the most common ways that we can improve an image is ensuring that when we're imaging an organ, such as the spleen or the kidney, that that organ has equal brightness levels throughout. It's very common to have the top part of the spleen be darker than the rest of the spleen. So if you bump the TGC control up at that depth level, your spleen will have nice even brightness levels throughout it. And the same thing can also happen in the kidney. When we're imaging the kidney, having the top part of the kidney be brighter in echogenicity than the bottom part of the kidney. You want both cortexes of the kidney to be the same brightness level. So when you're imaging an organ, pay attention to all aspects of that organ and ask yourself, is it the same echogenicity throughout? 